So today I also went to my PO box and I had there another package from another small business. This one is from the Modern Journaler. Com. Her name is Erica. She's super sweet and I chose eight products from her and she also sent me some extras that I'm really excited to see what they are. But without further ado, let's just open the package. I really love the paper because the pastels and the minimal designs look so cute. I really like her. So this is her name and I am just so impressed with the quality of everything so far. First I wanted to start with these flower ones that are super super cute. They also sell these in like craft paper but I wanted the yellow because I don't use a lot of yellow and these are just so pretty. I really love the color and the text on top of the flowers. It's so cute. I don't have a lot of yellow stickers so these were perfect for an upcoming pen palette and I really like the shade and everything. Then for the sticker sheets I got these two flower sticker sheets and they are vinyl paper I believe they don't feel like paper and they shine a little bit as you can see so they are not paper I believe they are like vinyl stickers and they don't have a white border around the flower it's just a flower like this I think you can see but they look super cute and they would look so great in like a daisies or a floral envelope which is what I had in mind when I chose these from a shop I also chose these two sticker sheets from her shop. These are butterflies and stamps and they are super cute. I really love the shades and again warm tones because I don't have a lot of reds and oranges stickers and these leaves stamps as well. These are super cute for the envelopes of my pen palettes. That's just why I chose them because they are super nice and they are really minimal which I like. Also in the warm tone color palette I got these Pantone stickers and these are not that small which I appreciate they are quite big a little bit because these will look great on pen palettes without being too big on the envelopes so I really like because I don't have a lot of big envelopes my envelopes are more on the smaller size so I like that the stickers are also small to medium size and not that big so I'm really happy with these two sticker sheets and then I also got these Graphic Dots stickers which has like a blue background with daisies which are really nice and again for envelopes this is going to look so cute. And I got these Crafters Tools stickers which I can use to close my pen pals because I normally just put washi tape on top and these were going to seal the washi tape a bit better so I'm really happy with them. And now I'm going to open this little envelope for the extras. And by the way, I really like how she closed the envelope. I don't really put the washi tape around here and not like on the side, but to be honest, it looks much more professional for some reason. So she sent me another flower, pastel flower, really pretty by the way. And oh, these are the ones that I was saying that she has in craft paper. I got a pear stamp, also really cute. And this is paper by the way, it's not vinyl. And then we have two cards which are going to be super sweet to send on my letters to my pen pals. So yeah, I really like the whole aesthetic of her shop. It's very vintage and minimal, which I like. And this is everything that I got from the Modern Journaler. Thank you so much, Erica, for sending me these stickers and everything. I'm going to leave her shop down below as well as her Instagram. So make sure to check her out because these are pretty sweet stickers and they are not that expensive, which... I appreciate of course so yeah I'm really happy with these stickers and I can't wait to start making like a warm floral pen palette because these are calling me these are so cute so thank you so much Erica and don't forget to check out her shop in the description so I think you can tell by my desk that I just finished filming my stationary Paul unboxing and haul um, it's probably live on my channel already when you're watching this because I try to post these Bojo vlogs after the video is live. They wanted to send me a couple of things so I could do an unboxing for my channel because now I'm an affiliate of Stationery Paul so you can always get 10% off with my code now. And they also sent me a bunch of sticker sheets that they create. I think these are original from, not that one, but these are just originals from Stationery Paul and they are super cute. I just wasn't expecting that they would send me these sticker sheets but they are so pretty but yeah I asked for a bunch of things including these mydliner brushes and 
If you're new to my channel, you probably don't know this, but I have mixed feelings about zebra eyeliners because I think they are super expensive, but on Stationery Paul, they had this pack of 25 plus one, and I decided to ask for this because I had my eye on these for a while, but they were pretty expensive, so I was like, maybe I don't need more pens, so I didn't buy them myself. So I just swatched them, and the colors are actually pretty pastel. They are not too vibrant. We have a couple of lotions here, but the rest of the colors are amazing. I particularly like the purples because I'm going to use purple for my July theme, and I love the hot red and oranges. They are so cute. So these are available on Stationery Paul, of course. If you watched my haul, you probably already saw them, but they are pretty nice and I think they are more worth it than the normal myliners because of the tips. These have a brush tip and a fine tip and the myliner is normal, it's like a chisel highlighter tip and I normally don't use that for anything. So these are the ones that I recommend, they are super cute. The brush is super soft, like it's a hard brush but writing with them is just kind of like the Tombow Dual brush pens. But I really like those and I'm really happy that I asked for them. But yeah, now I just have to take the picture for the thumbnail and put everything away and store my new pens. I'm just so excited. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that because I don't have space on my sticker binder, but we'll see. But this is the state of my desk right now and I'm going to put everything away. box this one was gifted from Pau's Art Nook and I'm going to leave her Etsy store down below in the description so you can check her out. Pau reached out to me to send me some stickers and I chose a couple and these are so vibrant the colors are so vibrant I'm so impressed with the quality because these are like watercolor stickers not these but these are watercolor stickers and they are so vibrant and so cute. I love the little bunny and the bear and the deer. I love this mystical moths sticker sheet. It's just so cute. And the flowers, oh my god. I also chose a circle sticker sheet because I love these and these have like 10 circles of each color which is a lot and I just love using these on top of envelopes or pen palettes. They sometimes just complete the whole thing. And I also got these two sticker sheets that are like flowers with the little blobs of colors that I really love and I have an idea for a pen pal with me video with these designs so it was very convenient that Pals had this sticker sheet on her shop so yeah I am completely in love with the quality the paper is like not that thick but it's like the perfect thickness and it's so like texturized it's really pretty. It's actually soft, but it has a lot of texture to it. I really enjoy it. And I can't wait to create with these. They are just so, so cute. This is definitely a shop that I know that I'm going to buy from again because the colors and the quality, oh my god. Thank you so much, Pals Art Nook, for sending me some 